hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? If so, please approach the podium and give your name and address. I have hearing none. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? <laughs> Come forward. <clears throat> Sorry, I was ready to do that. <laughs> please, please state your name and address. John Muller, 5663 Hickory Road, Road North, South uh, Georgia. Um, the property that's outside, we live behind it, and you can see the white driveway. So whatever's done to that property, we will be facing. And I just don't know what the zoning means as far as the on that. Uh, so I'm not All right, then I'll come back to the same question. If you'll hold just a minute, Mr. Lawler, if we could ask staff, is there any way that you might could uh, give him some assurance that there'd be basically no changes? Yeah, I mean, this the zoning that they're requesting is similar to the zoning that you have. One of the biggest changes is it allows you to have a lot that's less than five acres. In this case, the applicants want something that's just less. It's about 4.8, so it's very close. I don't know of any wishes they have to subdivide. Uh, I do believe that they want to put in some manufactured housing possibly on the way to uh, to live there with their family I think they have two residences planned a house and a guest house so those are the current plans that I know of with that zoning that's something that's allowed right now that that y'all could do with what you have but the biggest change is right now y'all are restricted to about five acres whereas they want to go just below that at about 4.8 I mean it's just something to me that I don't know how Affect our value sure. for me, it would bring it down tremendously. Mm -hmm. And what's the stop too? Because I don't know four, five. I don't know how many can keep going. Yes, sir. Um, with this zone, the the property value. I, mean, I, I can't really speak too much to that. The property value. I, I don't know the value of the homes and the value of the land versus the value of y'all's homes and the value of the land out there right now. Um, that's that's a legitimate concern. Mm -hmm. As far as putting the number of residences on there, at 4.8 acres, Ms. Braswell, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they'd be allowed in RA to have a house and a guest house. Yes, and um, an additional house or two um, for, family. for family members. Okay. If, if they so chose, they could probably have up to four houses if those houses were for family members. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to subdivide that I think they'd still be looking at around four um, I know that the plans I've heard are for two but that's probably the maximum density you're looking at I I would be surprised if they do that but I think that's possible if you're just looking at property rights and what's possible I think up to four residences are possible on that property well that's the possibility are inevitable to me that they're gonna bring that back mm -hmm. And yes. uh, that's why I'm against it. And I uh, also feel like it's hard enough for everybody else around that built had to have their five acres to build. Mm -hmm. And then there was no way around it. And everybody in my family has had a hard time with it. So to me, it's kind of not fair to say, well, here's four acres and you can put as many residences as you want. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, one second.